Okay, so I welcome you to this video tutorial on um, how to import search results into Kadima in order to view them into the study selection process. So very importantly, Kadima is not a meta search engine like, for example, Web of Science, but what you have to do is, is that you have to allocate a um, search string to a database, you apply it to, you have to mention when you did the search, and you have to upload your search results um, as a text file in a RIS format. And in order to, to create a new search entry, just click on create new search string, mention the search string you applied. Then you have to mention the information source you applied it to. You have to tell Kadima when you did the search. You can also leave further comments, for example, if you, if you did not adjust search the Web of Science core collection, but uh, your institution has access to, to other databases, you can list them there in order to show which databases actually have been searched via Web of Science. In the next step then, Kadima asks you to upload your search results and what I normally do is that I um, import the search results, for example, from Web of Science into EndNote or Citavi or any other reference management software you have hands-on and then I export the results per database um, as um, a text file in RIS format and this file then goes into Kadima. Right, in order to do so just click here on this arrow, um, browse for the file on your computer and then upload it to the system. In this case, uh, 100 RIS entries have been yeah, covered by the file and very importantly, these are just data for, let's say, uh, demonstration purposes to make you understand how Kadima is working, but they do not reflect reality. As you're normally doing more than one search, you have to create a new search entry. Um, you have to mention the search string, the database or information source you applied it to have to again mention when you did the search and then the same procedure you have to upload the respective search results by browsing for them on your computer. Right. In the next step what you have to do is um, that you have to select those entries you want to work with. So in our case for sure with both and then as you're normally doing a quite comprehensive search, you are also dealing with duplicated records. And in order to tell Kadima to look for those um, potential duplicates, you just have to click here on Run Duplicate Identification Script, and it takes Kadima around 30 to 60 seconds to screen 30,000 uploaded records, so you do not lose a lot of time here. Just click on Run Duplicate Identification Script. Then you're getting notified when it's finished, and then uh, what we do is that we move on to what we call the merge reference list. And what Kadima is doing here is that it combines uh, the singly uploaded files and combines them into one big list, which is the merge reference list. And it also highlights potential duplicates that were identified by Kadima in orange. You, there are now two ways how to deal with them. So in the first way, you can screen them manually by filtering for the duplicated records. For example, you see that the first two have the same title, you can see the authors are the same, the journal name is the same, you can look the abstract, volume number, page number, etc. And it is everything identical, but uh, we have a mismatch in the year, um, which might just have been an, an error in the RIS files. And in order to clarify this manually, you would now uh, just need to keep one of them and delete the other one by here clicking on this trash item. But as you're not dealing normally with six, but with thousands of duplicates, I mean, manual screening is not um, handy. And in this case, for sure, um, you would rather do this in an automated fashion. And in order to do so, let Kadima clarify the duplicates. Click here on this automatic duplicate removal function. And then um, Kadima asks you about the level of identity certain records have to have in order to be automatically um, clarified or removed by, by Kadima. So if you use the settings as they are placed as default, records have to be identical to title, author, year, and volume number level. But for sure you can use your own settings, you can play a bit around with them, you can run several 
um, iterations, let's say, with different settings. So in, now in, in, in our case, we rely on title and volume number. You click on remove duplicates and then Kadima tells you, okay, so three records have been deleted as duplicates and three have been kept as um, the original records. And um, now you close it. And you can see that now all the orange records have been vanished. And very importantly, before you move on to the study selection process, make sure that um, all orange mark records are gone, are clarified, because um, our orange mark record means for Kadima that Kadima is not sure if it's a real duplicate or if it might be falsely identified by Kadima. And this means that this record is not moved on to the uh, study selection step. So make sure that all orange records are cleared. What you can do at this stage as well is that you can filter for those records where an abstract is missing. Um, for example, here you have two um, records with missing abstract. In order to search for the abstract, you could, for example, mark the title. Uh, you can then click on the right mouse button and do Google search, identify the abstract, copy it, and then paste it back to Kadima by clicking here on this plus item here. You can paste the abstract, save it, and then uh, you have it uh, in Kadima, which for sure facilitates then the study selection process of title abstract stage later on. Also very importantly, uh, what Kadima is doing to make this list is um, that it adds the first file, adds to the first file, the second file, adds to the second file, the third file, etc. And uh, in order to prevent that, you introduce a bias that might stem from the order that you upload the search results here at the level of the defined search string menu item. You can actually now also randomize this list just by clicking here on randomize list, tell Kadima proceed. And what Kadima is then doing, that it provides random numbers um, um, to this list. So there are not these numbers here, these are the uh, the ID numbers uh, which then remain the same, but in the background the entire list is then resampled and get, um, yeah, is getting randomized um, and is getting then in this random new random session it is presented to the reviewers then during the study selection process. So very importantly um, at any time you can upload um, new search results at the level of the defined search string. You can at any time run the duplicate identification script and um, then also um, run the automatic duplicate removal function within Kadima. Just make sure that no orange records do remain. Right, so this is everything I want to say at the level of the literature search. And if you're interested in the study selection process, then please have a look at the tutorial on this step. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, listening, and uh, see you. Ciao.